Is the slugger bad now? Is the dominator the new best shotgun? Do mechs finally work against robots? And will robots one-shot you with their rockets now? Today, we're going to be covering some of the new patch and what it means for Helldivers 2. I've already played many games today with the Slugger and Dominator against bots and bugs, as well as the mech against robots, and wanted to cover the balance changes and what it means for the game, because there are some massive things I've noticed that make the game feel much better against robots in particular, and if you're a bug player, I recommend trying out some bot matches now. Before we get into the changes I'm going to be covering, be sure to like and subscribe to spread my content to other hell divers and let's dive right in so the first thing we need to cover is the slugger a fan favorite shotgun after people realize how underrated this gun was at launch it has been nerfed by 30 damage the stagger of it has been reduced by a bit and it no longer opens doors now now I'll be honest this gun to me still feels fine damage wise it really feels no different it still one shots hunters three shots the orange armored bugs still takes care of brood commanders what i will say though is that staggered does feel a bit worse against stalkers now although they do still get staggered it doesn't feel like i have a problem against stalkers but there is a slightly noticeable difference and if anything the stagger feels much worse against devastators now Rocket Devastators are still able to get volleys of rockets off, even though they are getting visually staggered, as I'm showing in the clip in the background. In general, the nerf really doesn't feel too bad. I think people will just have different reactions to it, but the gun doesn't feel gutted at all to me. It really still feels fine, and that's just my opinion from playing with it against these enemies. I will say, in general, I don't like nerfs in PvE games, and I don't think that the Slugger was some oppressive weapon inside of this game that makes any of the missions easy. It's just a really good shotgun, and I really don't understand why any of these nerfs were done to it. If anything, I understand why they made it so I can't open the door anymore, because that really didn't make any sense at all, and that probably was unintended. Now, the Dominator, on the other hand, actually feels usable against these Devastators, taking the place of the Slugger against robots, possibly. It takes them down in just a few shots, and obviously it'll take less if you're closer and you can hit those headshots. It also staggers them very well if you aren't hitting headshots and killing them. From my couple games with the Dominator, I think I'll have to try it out a bit more just to see how it does, but it feels pretty strong so far because you can kind of just spam it into Devastators. And if you get behind hulks, you can even kill them in about five shots, and it even staggers hulks now, which is kind of crazy. So I do recommend trying out the Dominator against robots, but in general, the Slugger feels the same against bugs. I just don't think it's the same against robots, and maybe the Dominator takes its place now. Two guns I want to throw out there that I actually haven't tried yet against robots are the Liberator Penetrator, but more importantly, the Diligence Counter Sniper. The Liberator Penetrator was given a full auto mode, which might make it more ammo efficient compared to the Scorcher, and I am someone who pretty much only played the Scorcher against robots, so I'm going to be trying this one out, which is something I'm saying that they should have changed compared to the normal Diligence, because that gives you a reason to try this gun out over the regular Diligence, and this is something I'm going to be trying. I just wanted to shout these two out in this video, even though I haven't tried them yet. All right, now we get to talk about the mech and the fact that we also survive a lot more against enemy rockets, finally. I took the mech into a robot Helldive mission, I spawned it right in the middle of an objective and it did not e instantly die. In fact, it survived a lot longer than I was expecting. Although, don't step on any mines. I did step on a mine in my mech and it did get instantly destroyed, unfortunately. Now, the one thing I will say that they really need to work on is the aiming of the rocket pod arm. Previously, the rockets could randomly kill you while turning and shooting, and this is because the rocket was firing from basically inside the mech and if you turn to the right it could shoot itself which was very unfortunate now they changed this so that the rocket now shoots from the left side of the mech but what this did was make it so that the rocket is wildly inaccurate even at medium range and i will say that the rocket pod arm feels horrible to shoot against robots right now i think a better fix would be to put the rocket back where it was an originally shooting from but put a one second delay on the hitbox of the rocket itself so basically as if it was 
shooting a delayed RPG. That way, it can aim from where you're shooting, it'll be accurate again, but it won't destroy the mech randomly. Whatever fix they come up with, something needs to be done about the rocket's aim before the mech is really usable at higher difficulty. You can even see at the beginning of the footage that when I was up on a ledge, I can't even aim this thing down at devastators that are at medium range. And given that the rocket pod doesn't have a lot of ammo, it's very punishing if you miss any rockets at all, because it's not a long time until you get to zero. Now, that wouldn't be a problem if you could precisely aim these and actually kill stuff with them. Now, more important than the mech changes, automaton rockets now deal less damage to hell divers. Apparently, it was a bug that it was dealing damage to multiple parts of our body, and that's why it was one-shotting us. Now, for reference, in this video and in the clips, I am using the medium armor with 50% resistance to explosive damage, and I'm also using the vitality booster. This armor and booster combo before this patch lets you survive at least two rockets to the body, and I was using this on bot missions to basically do them, and it was making it a lot easier. But now I can show you guys a clip of me surviving an entire volley of rockets with this armor booster combo on. I also have a clip of me straight up surviving a mine now, which is amazing. Yo, I just survived a mine in this armor. Wait, I'm about to walk on another mine. Yo, I can live mines. You're a dumbass. So definitely wear this armor and use this booster against bots. I will say it feels strong enough to the point that I don't even fear rocket devastators anymore. I'm much more fearful of the heavy devastators as there's really nothing you can do once they start firing down on you. They shred your health bar instantly. But at least you can dodge them, stun them, or even stagger them with the devastator. And bot missions feel less oppressive overall now. I want to say I don't own the light armor with the 50% explosive resistance resistance uh, perk. I do want to try that armor out. As soon as it rotates in my superstore, I'm going to be picking it up and trying it out. Now, there were many other changes in the patch notes I haven't tested yet, and we will save those for more videos. I just wanted to give you guys an update on the things I have tried so far. So be sure to like and subscribe. I will be posting more videos in the upcoming days while these patch notes are still fresh. Also, please go check out my last two uploads about the Major Order storyline. We've recently figured out how Joel is playing 5D chess with the community, and I am trying to spread this information around how defense missions are not part of the Major Order and should be ignored most of the time. So go check those videos out. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out.